Hello friends, welcome to Beyond 20's YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Nilam Patel and I'm a solution consultant with Beyond 20. In today's video, we will learn about how to create an additional field or column using the function in ServiceNow. So as we know, uh, the function fields and the scripts perform common database transformations and the calculations. But the function field generates the value based on the computation of other fields and constants in the database. So, um, like I said, if you want to display another attribute or column in your report and you want it to be calculated it based on the formula and you don't, do not want to store that field or column into your report and database, then you can use functions in reporting so that way you will not occupy so much space when you build a report every time so this is actually a very effective way to display some calculated values as well and this is the advantage as they are not stored in the database and displays the result of a database query so let's see um, let's type reports in the left navigation and under report module let's click on the create new now uh, let me tell you one more thing in order to use the create the function uh, or use the function we have to have either admin or function field admin role in service now so let's try to create a report and see how that works so uh, one more thing to create a function we will use the glide function query and we will use the operators uh, like date difference length positions uh, we can also use day of the week substring and we can also do addition subtraction multiplication and division as well so let's give our report a test function report so after giving it a good name uh, we can uh, select uh, either database or table in our case we'll select table let's select incident table and then let's select a type so we will select a list type next now, uh, if we want to group by, uh, we can add any uh, conditions that we want. But in our case, we want to see how to use functions. So le uh, let's click on this configure function field. And one more thing that this functionality is available only on Quebec release. So let's <coughs> click on that. We have to save that. So save and continue. So first we will see how to add additional column using um, either we can uh, say date difference. So let's label that as a date diff function and for that we will select the type as duration so we can calculate the duration between two dates. So let's select date diff and select two dates. So we will see the completed date uh, or closed date and the open date. So let's type closed, closed date and open. Let's select open. Now let's click on save and now let's choose that column so maybe it will be at the end or we can select it over here it will be date diff function column okay okay I forgot uh, we will have to save this first now we can choose the column so see date diff function okay 
let's add this column at the end okay save the report and we will be able to see the date date column here and we will be able to see the duration between the open and closed dates of the incident so this is how we can use the date date function let me show you one more uh, function let's let's add one more configure function field this time we will create new and let's say if we want to calculate the length of the short description then we will say and it will be a string so let select text and here let's select length and in, in the field we will select short description okay let's click on save Let's save the report and now we will choose the column to add the length function column. Okay, and save and then let's see if we have a length function column at the end. So it is showing us the length of the short description we can also use concat using the same functionality so this is how we can use functions in the report and we can create multiple columns we can add uh, columns based on the formula and calculation and we can also save the space so every time we run the report the function will um, populate the column based on the formula so thank you for watching this video. We will see you in next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.